Good morning, beautiful people of the internet. How are you today? Yeah, I'm here outside. It's cold. Yeah, it's not there and I'm without anything. I just was running outside and this is such a beautiful day. So, yeah, I did a little walk and I came back and it was very, 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 very nice. And yeah, I was bluish. Now I'm less bluish. Weird. Camera reacts weirdly. But yeah, so good morning to everyone. And uh, yeah, let's get this day started. Woohoo! Let's make split pea soup. It's amazing. Split peas, love split peas. So yeah, we're going to make this. Yeah, I just wanted to talk, just some thoughts. I got some uh, comment on one of my, our mukbangs, and it was such like, oh, well, uh, WTF, you're two girls, and uh, you, you, you kissing, um, are you lesbian or something? So answer to this comment, you know what, when I say gay family, do you know what it means? And then on the other, in other video, probably the, the person watched and they said, Oh, I'm so confused, I have no idea. So you answered and explained them what is gay Q&A that we made, gave them link to Q&A that we made earlier and etc. And then I've got comment with another person that said, oh, st just bigoted, um, bigoted, uh, you know, stupid or something person that read, write it or not stupid, didn't, was, it wasn't too offensive, it was like this. I wanted to address it because it bothers me. Uh, we're getting those comments quite often here and there and uh, a lot of times uh, I have no idea who is the person behind the commenting. A lot of times it's children or um, teenagers that get access to internet and they have never heard about gay people or have they heard about gay people but have never thought that it can be, you know, accessible. Sometimes it's people that have never seen gay people from another um, countries that it's illegal, which is, um, you know, mm, you know, uh, people won't talk about those things, and they have truly, truly have no idea what gay means and what lesbian relationship means, and they will ask. Ah, he he asked. Um, so who is the man in the relationship? So I wrote, wrote on, I answer them that um, the point is that it's two two girls and not like without men in the relationship. Um, so I get in the you know a doubt benefit of a doubt to the person who write, write those things because sometimes they actually have no idea who they are uh, who we are and uh, one hi hi have you changed your um, t-shirt from yesterday or you put the same I think I fell asleep in it you fell asleep in this you need to change it okay. <laughs> so yeah um, one of the most important things in our um, in my mind in our mind it's uh, that we are uh, educational as well like both of our channels when we created this it was educational educate people so how normal and rather not normal our family is and uh, what is to be you know gay and how much it's not different from any other couple out there who loves the child who loves each other and that's it and it's uh, just to bright the issue and uh, those people sometimes just need to really see what it's all about and uh, I'm truly truly know that a lot of people have no idea who are they have no idea who we are who who those you know big gay people that usually you know you you hear how bad they are or you 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 get only funny remarks from parents and the uh, surrounding so yeah give the people benefit of a doubt and if it's become violent or you know very disrespectful i can i can just click and i can uh, you know and i can um, just block the person and i have my 
tools. But a lot of times I'm trying to educate them first. Uh, yeah, just a couple of thoughts about education. And uh, yeah, we assume that everyone will know what is lesbian or gay relationship is, which, which is not true at all. We, we are only about 15% of the population. And... Um, uh, and people from around the world or uh, small communities have never saw a um, healthy lesbian or gay relationship, have never encountered anything like this, especially with the kids. So this is a great tool to educate. That's why we're, another reason why we write everyone that we're gay family as we are, because that's how people recognize us. They have, that's how people can find them on Google and etc. if they will write gay family or something like this. Just thought uh, out loud that, um, yeah, you need to educate, educate, and educate. And if you are gay by yourself, don't be offended. A lot of times I found that um, people come to you and say, oh, so who's the real mom? Or, uh, oh, and it's it's a lot of time does not come from, oh, I want to offend you, please. A lot of time it's come, oh, I'm truly thin, like, because in their mind it's very binary, like there needs to be a mom and dad. And a lot of gay people are very offended out of those comments, and I understand why. But um, you know what? We're not. We're here to educate. We need to speak. And we explain that we're both functioning as moms and Ariel is our child. And, you know, 99.99% of the people just accept it. So don't afraid to educate and to do it in a good way. And you will see that not everyone are, are yeah, bad person. I wanted to say something else. So I think, I hope it makes sense. So it's just our view on education and that's what we are trying to say to Ariel, just to be educated, educated and educated a little bit more. And um, yeah, this is very important topic that I think we're not talking enough about it, but uh, probably we will in the future talk a little bit more in depth about those topics. But today I wanted just to touch on this. LOL, I just realized, and you get it, a couple of hours later that I have the same uh, short as the yesterday. Yeah, because I was like doing something in the morning, get outside in the terrace, so I just put the first thing that I saw and it was last evening short. But it's okay. All good, we're all family, you know how it works sometimes. What are you doing? Making some pasta for my fishy. What kind of fish do we be making? Uh, pink salmon, I think. Yes, cool. What kind of herbs do you have there? A uh, basil. Is it baby dill or dill? Baby dill. Baby dill. Um, yeah. lemon juice, and I just kept the lemon because it's cute. And of course, there's a bit of garlic and lemon zest. So I'll just pour this in. I need to make sure no, none of the seeds get in. And what else are you going to add there? Olive oil. Oh, yeah. I think you will need to add more lemon. We love a lot of lemon. Yeah, I just, I'll use my Yeah, hand. just use your hand and put and uh, smush it in. You see, yeah. you see how helpful he is? I'm just wondering about this video. Why? Where are the comments gonna be? <laughs> I don't know. We'll we shall see tomorrow. Ariel decided to touch it. Here a little bit of salt. But now please add your um, pesto. And um, um, I think you need more. Yeah. Oh God! That kind of looks like some type of mint thing. That you would kind of find in some type of melted candy or something. I know, this is how it looks It's a bit like. creepy. Isn't it, isn't it like some type of me, mint, mint gum? Where you take out your mouth <laughs> and then it drops this green stuff? That's yeah, how it looks. But this looks good though. We love it. No, at least, at least it's natural. <laughs> yeah, so let's flip it. Flip it and then cover it with olive oil as you see here. And I dried the skin in order it to be crispy. So yeah. Then it went to oven for uh, 400 Fahrenheit for 
20 minutes hey guys how are you so you haven't seen me all day yes 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 i'm back from work did another overtime of over 12 hours at work i'm so tired and there is my cutie pie yes blap blap yeah well, i'm just like so tired just sitting here with a laptop and just you know looking like because look when you know with a zombie look looking in the laptop and scrolling stuff, so checking email. Uh. Yeah, but Ariel made an awesome fish and they made amazing dinner, so we actually did a mokbang. Yep, 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 we did a mokbang, which was so tasty. Now, you know, when you have more food in your tummy and you're tired, you're just like floating away. Yes. So I'm gonna sit, just look at the computer, look at the laptop, see what's going on in email, and I don't know, I'm really debating go to sleep. Really, really, really. Because tomorrow is a new day and I have to get up really early. I have a feeling that this seat today is hot seat for us. Uh, me and Regina are <laughs> taking places. And yeah, I think we will go sleep today a little bit early. Someone has uh, work tomorrow. And yeah, that's what it is. Hi, Regina. Hi, Ariel. Hi. So, yeah, uh, I think that's it for today. And, you know, as usual, don't forget to subscribe, write us a comment, thumbs up us, and cheers, loving life. And uh, make sure to go towards your joy, do something fun every day, and see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.